Today, I'm going in a first run in the alligator running flip-flops. Six kilometers, 518 per kilometer, or 3.72 miles at a 833 per mile pace. Today, I went in my first run in the alligator running flip flop. Now, this particular shoe is listed as the third generation advanced edition uh, of the alligator flip flop shoe. It's a shoe that is Taiwanese made, a uh, company made in, uh, made in Taiwan called Alligator. And uh, it's a running flip-flop based on a uh, running shoe design. Uh, they use uh, an EVA foam throughout the entire shoe. shoe. It's one seamless uh, uh, foam mold. Uh, you do have seams uh, in the typical areas that you'd expect along uh, the shoe, but it's one complete mold. So there's no concerns of it uh, coming apart in any particular area. And then it's, from what I read online, it's actually a patented design that they have as well. Um, I can't read the, I guess the characteristics card of this shoe, uh, but I can tell you my thoughts of what I thought, how the shoe went. Now it is a, uh, MIT approved or certified shoe uh, which means that it's a non-toxic material so uh, that came with the shoe so I thought it would be worth mentioning now this shoe is a shoe that has intrigued me because uh, running in Taiwan is particularly well only because in the rain has been a problem for me getting my shoes completely wet and with the high humidity it takes several days for my shoes to uh, dry out I thought that maybe a running flip-flop uh, would uh, fit my needs as having a daily runner um, that I can go to for rainy days rainy days um, the this shoe is a shoe that I've seen on many people's feet uh, I did a marathon earlier this year I saw it on several people wearing it there it was actually a dry day uh, I've seen it on rainy day races. I've seen um, them actually saw it in yesterday's run. Uh, another person had the exact same shoe uh, running in the flip-flop. So it's something that initially I would have thought would not be um, that comfortable or uh, not the first thing that comes to mind when I'm looking for a solution to run in the rain. Uh, the shoe actually comes in sizes from uh, 35 to 46. So 46 is about a 13 uh, US size. Um, and it's incredibly cheap at 250 NT or about nine US dollars thereabouts. Uh, they also have uh, running alligator socks, which 
uh, has the big toe and the rest of the toes covered, so it's just kind of like two instead of every toe being shown. Uh, it also has another generation of this shoe that has the heel cup uh, included, which is something that I am curious about uh, running in. Now, as far as the outsole goes, uh, it's all the exact same EVA foam. It seems like a pretty durable foam, um, so we'll see how long it holds up. I have no idea what kind of EVA foam this is, but like I said, it seems uh, pretty solid and uh, forgiving. So the outer foam here does seem a little bit harder than the top foam here, and I do see a seam here but <clears throat> I'm not sure how they achieved that with the harder here, maybe a baking process or something like that, but the, the bottom feels different than the top. Maybe that's from the run after running that. So uh, as far as the midfoot goes or the upper here uh, section, or the midfoot lockdown here with the upper, the upper is actually a tapered design. So your foot slides in and it doesn't slide out as easily because this kind of hugs your foot. Um, and it has these grooves here that your toes can wrap around so that you can hold on to the shoe while you're running. Uh, for the stack height, we have 30 millimeters in the back and 15 millimeters in the front, so a 15 millimeter uh, heel drop. You can also see that there is kind of an arch, which is pretty comfortable for the, uh, your, your arch there, if you have a high arch. I felt like it's pretty comfortable walking around on dry days or just walking around the house, um, which I just did briefly now. Um, as far as the weight goes, it's 120 grams or about 4.3 ounces. So half the weight of a typical shoe, which you can imagine, it's incredibly light. Um, durability, I think that the EVA foam is going to hold up really well as far as the sole or the outer goes, but I am concerned about this point here, and I'll kind of get into that uh, as I get into the review here. So uh, what does it feel like to run in? They initially, within the first kilometer, were extremely uncomfortable. I felt like I was struggling to hold the shoe on. Now to clarify being uncomfortable, it was uncomfortable because I couldn't keep the shoe on my foot. I feel like it's incredibly comfortable as far as the stack height and the, <clears throat> the padding, the support given. But just that uneasiness, is this going to slide off my foot, is it not? Uh, taking turns was horrific in this, had it completely slide, my foot slide completely out of it taking a turn. Now um, <clears throat> going down hills was incredibly difficult because your foot will uh, slide forward and push on this one point here and going uphill as you can imagine your foot wants to slide out. So. These are the things that, you know, I would expect from a flip-flop because that's what happens with my normal flip-flops. You can see here, um, as far as comfortable, you, you can see the stack height is, is incredibly different here, okay? So, very comfortable, but um, when the difference being when I would slide on a shoe like this, which I've had happen before, this part would actually pop completely out and my foot would just slide completely out of the shoe. Um, because that's a weak part of the shoe. So I'm wondering at what point am I going to be running and I slide forward and I'm going to break through this and what kind of disaster and injury am I going to get from that? Now, if it's a rainy day and I'm going walking around, I actually prefer this style of shoe because I feel like if I slide, I'm sliding only to lock the shoe in even more rather than <clears throat> sliding out. So that's why the version that has the heel cup uh, kind of interests me and I feel like I also got a shoe that maybe wasn't the right size for me. I feel like I should get the uh, larger shoe. So it's kind of a mixed review. I want to love this shoe. I need a rainy day shoe. I run every single day and I can't be going through these older running shoes that are hurting my feet. But I feel like this shoe didn't do my legs any favors yesterday. Um, Inherently, you know, the, the heel is bouncing around, didn't feel too great on my uh, knees or the impact, but I did feel like the foam was sufficient. 
um, in the uh, the back of the shoe, but and the midfoot as well as the forefoot, I felt like there was enough foam. It's just the sliding around is an issue. So the feel of it coming off my foot is the big issue for this. So I'm going to get a bigger size and give it uh, a, you know some more runs. I'm going to continue running in the shoe and until I get the bigger size. Uh, it is a little bit difficult for me to find that size here in Taiwan. They don't really carry it in store, so I'll buy it online. I'm also going to buy the one with the heel cup and the socks and see how those work out for me. It would definitely be easier to go through socks and, and uh, wash those than it would be to uh, dry out uh, an entire shoe. So <clears throat> those are really my thoughts on this shoe. I feel like it's a really good design. It holds your foot in pretty well. Uh, the, the grip on the bottom was amazing, but there's, I mean, there's just nothing, I, I can't think of any solutions to keep your foot in the shoe. Um, maybe the heel cup will help with that, but I, then I'm kind of concerned with the rubbing on the back. Now it did rub on my foot here, uh, on the inside of my foot, or on the outside of my foot here, um, well, obviously where the rubber is, but no blisters were uh, created, so I was very pleased with that. Um, my solution moving forward is I'm going to take it uh, slower. I wasn't trying to push the pace, but uh, I need to go with the shoe will allow me to do. So I'm going to take it slower. I'm amazed that people can run marathons in these. I'm amazed that people can run marathons barefoot. So, uh, but uh, I like the shoe, but I, I feel like there needs to be some improvement. So I'm going to try and work with the shoe and slow it down and uh, get the shoe to work for me, for what the purposes that I need. So I'll go for my speed runs in a pair of shoes, they'll get wet, I'll let them dry, and I'll go for it. a really simple, easy run in these shoes. Um, I felt like it was comfortable enough to do an easy, easy run, uh, extremely slow, with uh, taking the turns really slow, taking the hills really uh, precariously, and uh, yeah, so. Those are my thoughts on these shoes. Are you guys running in these uh, running flip-flops? Have you even heard of these running flip-flops? They're made here in Taiwan. Uh, again, like I said, the company is called Alligator. You can see the logo there as well as on the bottom there. Um, what do you guys think of these shoes? I'd love to talk to you about the comments. Uh, talk about it in the comments below. I'll put a link down below so that you can find these shoes online and purchase them. Um, they're not working for me right now, but that doesn't mean they're not going to work for you. Uh, I feel like if I got maybe a bigger size that they'll work out a little bit better for me, that maybe I'll have that extra feel of security because I have a little bit extra foam on the back. Maybe my foot was just a little bit too close to the back here, so when I would, I would run forward, it would uh, make me feel uneasy. So I'm really hopeful about that and uh, looking forward to updating you guys once I get some, uh, some more kilometers into these shoes, or flip-flops rather. And I'd love to talk to you guys about it in the comments. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button at the bottom. I thank you for making it all the way to the end of the, the uh, video. And I will uh, update you once I've put some more kilometers in these shoes and I'll see you in the next review. Thanks. Bye-bye.